Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel for this pretty in pink glam cut crease makeup tutorial, perfect for Valentine's Day or a special night out. As per your requests, this look was created using the red eyeshadow in Chanel's new palette for spring. So let's begin. Starting with Dior Dream Skin, I'm priming my face. This instant skin perfector helps diminish the appearance of fine lines, pores, and redness. I love to use it as a primer beneath my makeup because it creates a nice smooth canvas for foundation and its skincare benefits will improve my complexion over time. Now to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Chanel eyeshadow base and blending it out with my tapered kabuki brush. This has a very thin gel-like consistency so it won't make the eyeshadow look too thick or too cakey. The first step to creating this look is with a pink blush. I'm using Chanel Quintessence. With a fluffy brush, I'm buffing this into the crease as a transition shade. You can use any blush you have on hand, even a coral blush would work really nicely. I'm slowly building up the color on both sides, slightly exaggerating that outer V area, and then blending over top to keep it soft and diffused. Next, I'm using that baby brush applicator that comes with the Chanel palette, and I'm picking up the red eyeshadow and applying it directly in the crease. The texture is so buttery, soft, and very pigmented, so it's relatively easy to build up. Using the small brush also helps keep the color nice and concentrated. So when I'm done carving into the crease, I'm going to bring the color down on the outside, outer lid, and outer V area as well, extending out slightly on both sides. I am so pleasantly surprised by how bold and opaque this shade is. It looks like a true red, but you will have to be very careful to take your time when blending it out, which is why I'm using a compact eyeshadow brush to soften the edges in the crease. A fluffy brush might spread the color too much, so this more compact eyeshadow brush lets me blend more precisely. Picking up my Chanel concealer and a flat shader brush, I'm going to create a blank inner lid and base. So I'm using the back of my hand to pick up the product and very carefully I'm going to carve out the lid. I'm using both sweeping and stamping motions to create a sharp edge on both sides and then I'm going to use my finger to soften up the center. This part takes time and practice, but don't be intimidated because it's actually very easy to execute as long as you have some patience. Now that I've laid down my concealer, on the lid I'm using my golden pink eyeshadow from Chantecai. This was limited edition, but both MAC and Bobbi Brown came out with dupes, so I'm going to do my best to link as many options as possible because it truly is a gorgeous color, but any pink shimmery eyeshadow will create the same effect. So with a flat shader brush, I'm packing this on top of the concealer, carving out the inner lid space. If it's not perfectly crisp, don't worry. The point is to have a sharp contrast between the lid and the crease. So next, with my tiny Chanel eyeshadow brush, I'm going to touch up the red eyeshadow in the crease. And then with my compact eyeshadow brush, I'm going to add some of that red eyeshadow to the outer lid and blend out the center area so that the transition from pink shimmer to red is nice and smooth. When I'm finished, I'm going to go back one last time with blush on my fluffy brush to blend everything out. For foundation, I'm going in with my Chantecai Future Skin. This is one of my current favorites for light, everyday use. I wanted to use it today since this is more of an evening look to see if it lasted and built up the way I wanted, and it absolutely did. Because it's a water-based gel, it feels cool on the skin, and it will never look cakey or feel too heavy. It has such a thin texture with botanical extracts, including aloe vera, and it's definitely one of my favorites for mature skin. 
So I'm buffing it out with my flat top kabuki brush per usual and even going back with just a few more dabs until I'm happy with the coverage. For concealer, I'm using my Chanel. This has been my favorite go-to for special events and evenings. It has great coverage and a relatively soft finish. So I'm blending this out with my tapered kabuki brush. And I'm also using it to highlight the center of my chin, forehead, and bridge of my nose. To set my face, I'm using the Armani Micro Fill Loose Powder Shade Pink. It gives such a subtle pink glow to the skin. It just looks radiant and luminous, but not too shimmery. I didn't think I would use this every day, but it's become my go-to loose powder. It is so beautiful and I actually prefer it to my Lancome Absolute Powder because of the pink undertone. To warm up my complexion, I'm using my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer Light. I'm starting to work down to the pan, which is sort of sad, but this is definitely one of my favorite powder bronzers, so I'll be replacing this as soon as I'm finished. For cheeks, I'm using the Chantecaille Cheek Gel in the shade Happy. It blends so seamlessly. I'm tapping this out all over the apples of my cheeks with my fingers. And then to highlight, I'm using the anti-aging Liquid Lumiere from Chantecaille in the shade Sheen. It has such a beautiful, cool tone, so it is different from anything else that I already own. I'm tapping this on the tops of my cheeks, bridge of my nose, ball of my nose, and Cupid's bow. And then with a small eyeshadow brush, I'm even going to highlight my brow bone. To finish the eyes, I'm going back into the palette and picking up the red eyeshadow on a precision brush. I'm lining my lower lash line on both sides, keeping the color as close to my lashes as possible, concentrating the color outside, but bringing it mostly all of the way in just to the tear duct. Then I am going to go back with a pencil brush and soften the liner, just buffing this out. Using the pink eyeshadow from Chantecaille, I'm going into the tear duct inner eye area to highlight. I went ahead and filled in my brows and lined my top lash line with black liquid eyeliner off camera. And now I'm going to coat my lashes with YSL Baby Doll Mascara. For lips, I'm staying soft. I picked up my YSL Rouge Per Couture in number 70 Lanou. This lipstick is so hydrating and smells amazing since it has mango butter. And then for extra shine, I'm topping that off with my Chantecaille Lip Gloss in Charm. I'm running low on this one, and I'm either going to replace it with Charm or Modern, another beautiful shade from Chantecaille. I wanted to add extra glamour to this look, so I'm popping on my House of Lashes falsies in the style Iconic. These are the lashes that I wore on my wedding day, and this was my first time wearing them again, so you can't tell, but I was definitely having a sentimental moment here. Applying false lashes takes some practice, but if you wear them regularly, they're easy to apply. And these are actually very comfortable, which is always my number one complaint about lashes is that they don't feel very nice, but these are really not that bad and they look spectacular. Once the glue is dried, that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this pink cut crease glam makeup tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. Of course, all of these products are linked down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.